What makes you think that I'm an answer if you ain't mine? Next story, next story, next story. Seth Rogen. Now, what do I always tell y'all about the uh, entertainment industry? I tell y'all the entertainment industry, especially the video game industry, is run by a bunch of soft, teddy bear-like men um, who have no backbone whatsoever. Seth Rogen wants film critics to know that negative reviews hurt and filmmakers and actors. Oh, no, 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 let me read that over. Seth Rogen wants film critics to know that negative reviews hurt filmmakers and actors. I know people who never recover from it. <laughs> Dude, if you don't get the hell out of here. <laughs> Seth Rogen wishes film critics knew how much their words hurt sometimes. This is a grown ass man, uh, a grown ass man, ladies and gentlemen. During an appearance on Stephen Bartlett's Diary of a CEO's podcast Monday, Rogan, who recently starred in Steven Spielberg's Oscar-nominated The Fableman, spoke about his experience of self-doubt and how reading harsh criticism from film reviewers can be devastating. It hurts everyone very much. I think if most critics knew how much it hurt the people that made the things that they are writing about, they would second-guess the way that they write these things. I know people who've never recovered, honestly. Years, decades of being hurt by this is very personal. This is a grown ass man. Reed says, I said before we need to get all content creators to move to Rumble for one month to punish YouTube. Hey, if I actually had an audience over on Rumble, I'd do it. <laughs> it is devastating when you are being in institutionally told that your personal expression was bad. That's something that people carry with them literally their entire lives and I get why it fucking sucks. Bro, if you don't grow up here, if you don't grow a damn pair, where do y'all be finding these soft men at, bro? I get it. When you work on something for years, I understand it. You work on something for two years, maybe three, put your blood, sweat, and tears into it. You release it thinking it's going to be the shit. Everybody's going to love it. I can't wait for everybody to see this. It releases, and everybody goes, garbage, trash, don't go see this. It's terrible. That can be devastating. I'm not disagreeing with you on that. I'm not saying that I can relate with you because I haven't been there, not on your scale, but I understand. But being a grown-ass man talking about it hurts and, and, and basically requesting people to, to do their job in a way that better compensates your feelings is some what did what did chris rock say some bitch ass shit that is some bitch ass shit you need to grow up you need to you need to grow the hell up and grow a pair of nuts talking about i i, I know people who who never recovered if they never recovered they weren't built for this industry and i'm not saying i'm built for it I don't know. I ain't been a part of it. But if they've never recovered, they're not built for the industry. So, uh, Seth Rogen, if you don't get the hell up out of here. And, this, of course, this is coming fresh off of the heels of, you know, us seeing his uh, his Ninja Turtles uh, movie. With, you know, the gender swap April O'Neil. That thing down like you started a tantrum, my baby. You had some plans with your man, just tell him to cancel, my baby. Oh, yeah. Slide to the crib, like Dracula's mansion, my baby.